paper, paper, and more paper. It comes in the mail, it collects in piles, and it seems to multiply. Not only that, but put it all together and it is darn heavy. When we moved from our four bedroom sticks and bricks home into our 22 foot home on wheels, we had to find ways to lighten our load in so many ways. In this video, I'm gonna share some tips on how to lighten your paper load. It seems that there is a constant stream of paper coming into our world. And I know we're not alone in this. That letter from the bank is filled with ads, disclaimers, and only really one page that you might actually need. Many of the papers coming in just get tossed in the recycling bin without even being looked at. We sort, file, and accumulate so much. Try picking up that filing cabinet with all your papers. It is really heavy. This used to be our life, but not anymore. Reducing both what comes into our home and how we store it has allowed us to remove hundreds of pounds of weight from entering our traveling home. How did we do it? Let me tell you. I started off by trying to reduce the amount of paper coming in the home. How? By calling or signing up online with everyone who mailed us things and asking them to switch us to email statements and online access. I contacted banks, insurance companies, gas, electric, and more. Every time I got something in the mail, I called the company and I asked them, please switch me over from snail mail to email in order to eliminate all of that incoming paper. Slowly but surely, the amount that showed up in the mailbox got smaller and smaller. It takes a bit of effort, but it is so well worth it and much easier to manage in the long run. Then I went on my computer and I created a folder that said filing cabinet. Then subfiles that gas bill, internet, whatever your bills are. When your bill is emailed to you, I just copied the bill right into that digital filing cabinet for storage. Those files on our computer are so easy to access whenever we might need them. They're easy to get rid of when we no longer need it and they're lightweight. There will be no more searching through stacks of envelopes and papers to find that receipt for a warranty issue or that credit card statement. With a few easy clicks of your mouse, you have it all at your disposal. Put a sign on your mailbox that says, no junk mail, please. When you put this on your mailbox, the postal delivery service is obliged not to leave flyers. Most of those items just went directly from the mailbox to the recycling box anyways, without ever being looked at. Now we didn't receive those anymore either. By reducing what comes in, we're helping our environment as well. Next, scan in documents you need to keep. Or if you don't have a scanner, snap a photo of the bill and the JPEG is your copy. I scan in receipts of purchases that have warranties, so I have a copy in case I need to get repairs or replacements at some point in the future. It's also a good idea to have scanned copies of passports, credit cards, insurance cards, things like that, and store them in a cloud service or somewhere you could easily access from any computer anywhere in the world, just in case of emergency. If you're a traveler, this can be a godsend, just in case your passport or credit cards get lost or stolen while you're traveling. You have instant access to the copies online in order to contact and cancel them and get things renewed when you are far from home. Throw it away. Do you really need 15 years worth of old electrical bills? I can understand if you might want to keep a recent copy, but there is a limit. Shred them up. Send them to the Recycle Depot. Scan the ones you need to keep, but toss those you no longer need. The goal is to totally eliminate your physical filing cabinet and only have a digital one. Take photos. In our Downsizing and Decluttering Tips and Tricks video, we shared how taking photos of items you love but are having a difficult time getting rid of can help you still have the memory but without having the actual item remaining in your possession. It can also be handy though to keep photos of important items for insurance purposes in case of loss. Take a picture of your truck, camper, computer, anything of value. Scan in photos and albums to eliminate bulk but still have access to the pictures. Remember to back them up. Computer hard drives fail. Have a copy of all your important items on a cloud service or just an external hard drive. Just have a copy somewhere. Luckily, copies of digital files take up little space. Books. Books are heavy. 
Switch to digital. We love reading books on our tablet. They can hold hundreds of different titles. We enjoy using our local library's website, which offers a huge amount of free downloadable books, both audio and text versions. We love to read while camping, and we love to listen to audiobooks and podcasts while driving. There are so many great sources out there, so many books, but so little time to get through them all. Another great advantage of digital books, it doesn't matter what day or time of day it is. If I finish a book at 1 a.m., with a couple of clicks, I can be on the library website and pick out and be reading a new book within minutes. Videos. I know watching videos is great in the evening or on rainy days, but those videos can take up a lot of space very quickly. What can you do to minimize that? Well, why not stream from sources like Netflix or Amazon Prime? How about YouTube? There's some great entertaining programs and people on YouTube. Go down the rabbit hole and get lost in everything there is to see. And don't forget, subscribe to RVing It Up. If you're going to be somewhere without internet, download the video before you leave home. If you still want a physical DVD to stick in the DVD player, ditch the packaging and put the DVDs in one of these small folders that are actually made for holding discs. This can save you a ton of space, but still has the advantage of being able to pop out that physical DVD and put it in the player. Use a dry erase board instead of notepads for grocery lists and to-do lists on paper. Write them on the dry erase board and when it's time to go grocery shopping, all we do is just snap a photo of the list on our phone and then when we're shopping we can check off what we need. Use the notepad feature of your phone or computer for to-do lists instead of sticky notes. In today's society, we aren't very far from our cell phones. It is so convenient when you are out at the hardware store to be able to look at the list on your phone to remember what it was you needed to buy or to have that alarm sound on your phone to remind you that, hey, tomorrow's that doctor's appointment. Use all the great technology we have at our disposal to simplify and streamline your life. It's like having your own personal virtual assistant and who wouldn't want that? There are so many ways to minimize the amount of paper in your life. Let's do a quick review. Switch to email bills and statements. Create a digital filing cabinet instead of a physical one. Scan or photograph items into your digital filing system. Put a no junk mail please sign on your mailbox. Throw things away. Get rid of what you really don't need to keep. Create digital photo albums. Read books on a tablet, phone, or e-reader. Stream or download movies and TV shows online. Use a dry erase board for grocery and to-do lists. Use the calendar and notepad features on your phone for reminders. We love the simplicity and convenience of having reduced our paper trail in life. The ease of searching for receipts or folders and the freedom it gives us from the weight of all those heavy books and papers. We love to hear your great ideas as well. Please share them in the comments below. We're looking forward to seeing you on the road. Check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel. New content will be posted weekly.